Hello and welcome to the Ministry of Bridges, your YouTube Bridges channel. My name is Gabriel Nevis and this is the Ministry of Bridges. During the lesson 1 of the Bridge Creator tutorial, we learn everything about the basics and the user interface of Bridge Creator. The lesson 2 was about the alignment, reading the alignment, uh, getting the Manage tab in order to have uh, more information from that alignment. In this episode, we're going to cover Save to the Library, Delete Cross Sections, Key Sections Table with the Change or Station, the Name, the orientation vertical and perpendicular, the difference between the queue and the cut, and then the section preview. The chainage, the step, the increments, the cross section, and keep the preview box. And then in the end of this lesson, we'll see the creation part of the UI with a shape name that should match the file name, the start and end stations for the extrusion and the interval for that triangulation, the polygon count, very useful, and the box construction lines, the OK, create and cancel buttons, and the modify by selecting the object and pressing create once again. The part of the edit the cross section, it will be covered during the lesson 4 and forward. The first thing we're going to do is to go to a previous model that I've created and copy a couple of files. Two or three files from, that are the library of the cross sections for, for Bridge Creator, and the other files are already Bridge Creator um, files, generated files that we can reuse. When we place those files into the attributes folder of the model, we can then access those libraries using the library folder. And you can see here, library A has plenty of previous cross sections that I've created, and I want to reuse those cross sections in the future. So I save to the library, and then I can share with my colleagues, or even place that into the firm folder to be available to everyone that is working on that project. The point here is that you don't need to recreate your cross sections every time you're going to prepare a deck using Bridge Creator. Now if you go here to the pull down menu, I have some previous cross sections that I created for a different project that I can still reuse for this new uh, project. Obviously I need to load the, the actual road line and now I'm giving a different uh, name uh, not to save over the previous file. So this GDEC1 is reading the Land XML file and I'm going now to add, copy, save or delete cross sections. I go to the sample one or I just go to library A and pick one of the previous pre-saved cross sections and reuse that. So I'm going to cancel, add, and I'm going to add a simple one because I want to add this new cross section into the library. Give it a station. Giving it a name will help them to identify it uh, inside the library, deck G1. I'm going to add the start and end station. Here I can see the preview. And I'm going to now start working on this cross section in a very simple manner as I've done on the lesson 2. Bring my road lines and then constrain the outer face points into those road lines. So this is a very simple, next episode will be uh, way more complex. For now we keep it simple and let's just change this in order then to add this new deck into the library. So now that the deck has been finalized. I can copy and do more changes. So here giving another uh, different stations because I want to vary this deck. So let's say the point 0.3 instead of one meter, 
goes 1500 below so now our extrusion our deck will have a varying depth so i can keep the preview selected and see those cyan preview cross sections to have an idea before we hit the button create to see what's going to happen with our extrusion that was the button copy and now I, the button delete so i don't want to extrude this i want to save this into the library i select the library i want to save to it will be my library and now let's delete this and bring it from the library add from library select my library and now the deck g1 it's there to be used so this is the process that needs to to be done in order to add cross sections into the library or load cross sections from the library so all these right hand side buttons are very useful during the key sections um, manipulation so i hit the button create and I have my simple deck. I can now then change my material, my class, and add attributes to that object. And then every time I change the object, those attributes are going to be kept inside uh, that object. So you don't need to do that more than once for each object. And remember, if you change the object, keep the object selected. To modify, you keep the object selected. The orientation is self-explanatory but better to see in this way the perpendicular cut is perpendicular to the road alignment in profile in elevation so if we do vertical is a vertical plan that cuts the object as you can see and the perpendicular is always perpendicular to the road alignment very useful i'm going to hide the reference model because next I want to explain something that it's not so simple, that is to do with the skew and the cut. For the cuts and skews, we have obviously the, the first situation is no skew, no cut. Uh, then we have one uh, skew, and again, you might don't want to use that, maybe in some situations, yes, but this is not the traditional skew of a bridge. We are just skewing the cross section. You can do it for the beginning to the end, and for that you need to add two cross sections. And then you, we have the cut in one end. To add the cut in one end, you need to add a section cut, which is an empty section, and then you select the button cut. And this is the traditional skew uh, when we think about bridges. For that, you have the start and end sections, and then you have the start cut and the end cut. And let me show you that in detail. Here, 90 degrees uh, deck. I'm going to take some measurements because it's easier to understand. 2.45 and 6.9 meters. If I use the skew, Perpendicular, it was okay. And you see, perpendicular, it is different. Because the 2.45 meters are along. So let's forget about the skew for now and let's start working with cuts. I need to add one empty section before I use it as a cut. I give it the station I want to cut, select the cut, and now add the, the, the angle. Here the first one, and now if we want to do to the last one, I'll show you in a wee while. So 80 degrees is from the center line to the cut in the first quadrant 
and here 120, so 90 plus 30. Now I can copy this cut because I want to reuse it for the, the other end of the deck and I want to cut on 365, 80 degrees, remember to select cut and now you can use the cut. So you have two cuts in one in the end of the deck and another one in the beginning of the deck with different values. Now you need to check the start and end of the concrete because if bridge creator cannot find concrete then has nothing to be cut obviously and here it's a good example so if i want to place the cut on 308 then i need to add more concrete uh, in order then to have that bit that i'm showing now so if i change that to a different value i give more concrete to it if i really want to cut it 307.5 and see the blue line is where my concrete is is really on top let's give a little bit more if this happens you need to play with the numbers if this is to if this situation happens then you need to add more space in order to do the cut so let's say we want a 307 so i give 305.5 and now i press create and now it's okay so if the 307.5 is really where i want to cut i need to add more deck in the beginning in order then for the object to be there and then could be cut so if in the beginning you get confused with this cut just remember that you need to have object in order to be cut so here is the same i want the 366.5 to be cut so i give the deck to the 369.5 and then i know i have more that the enough space for my my deck to to be cut without problems and then remember this cut is a tecla cut you always can go and add your cut manually and this is the exercise i'm doing right now let's say imagine this is my my line and where i want to cut my deck i just do a line cut so what bridge creator does is adding that line cut and cut for our, ourselves if you run into problems just use the traditional way is not a big deal now i'm going to show you here these uh, three boxes uh, uh, inside the section preview so we have the preview with the chainage or stations and then you have the step and then you keep preview and the last box on the right is construction lines so let me show you this if i change the interval to let's say one meter or five meters in this case and i create i'm going to have construction lines every five meters because the the cross section you see when we select preview is not we cannot snap to it so you can always add cross sections Cro uh, cr uh, construction lines uh, and then you can reuse those lines just remember to then untick that construction lines box or every time you select create you're going to have construction lines on top of each other and that is what you, you don't want that so if here i want a 10 meter space i select 10 meters now i untick the the construction line I put the interval I want for my final deck and now I recreate the objects and I will keep the cross section in those 10 meters, the cross section, sorry. Uh, I'll keep the construction lines on those 10 meters. And then the polygon cut will help you uh, to, to know if the deck is going to be uh, complex or not. On lesson three, we learn uh, those simple load from library reusing the library from different uh, projects adding cross sections copy import delete uh, and edit the cross section and from lesson four forward is going to be about uh, editing the cross section uh, itself it will it will increase the difficulty and i will show you uh, very complex uh, solutions in order to use all types of uh, points that we can use with Bridge Creator. I hope this lesson three was useful and see you on lesson four. Bye for now.
I appreciate if you leave a comment, like and support your Ministry of Riches channel by clicking the subscribe button. It's all for now, Bridge Morgan. See you in the next episode and have a Bridge Creator Day.